So, let's say that you just got home and you made yourself a beverage, you know, stay hydrated, maybe a glass of water or something. You go to your happy place, your throne. You know, the king needs a throne. And you realize it's leaking. So, for this project, we're actually gonna be trying something cool. I managed to find this thingy, I don't even know what it is. It's supposed to be um, replacing your wax gasket or your rubber gasket or foam gaskets. Um, it's supposed to be like universal, it's no mess, it fits a three inch drain or a four inch drain. Um, it's got, you know, the holes to hold uh, your bolts in there and um, I don't know if you can see that, it's, um, it's like a inch and a quarter or something piece of foam, so I'm assuming it fits kind of just about anything. Um, if your tile is a little bit, uh, you know, proud of the drain, or if your drain is a little bit proud of the floor, so um, I guess we'll see how it works. I'm actually curious to find out myself how this works. Uh, it's by Corky, and um, I don't know what else they make, but um, so in order to do this installation, we're going to need some wrenches some rags, and a garbage bag. Let's get started. Start by shutting off your water. Once the water is shut off, then go ahead and give it a couple flushes. Just make sure there's no water or less water in the tank and bowl. Makes it a little bit easier to pick up. I always like to keep a rag near me when I'm working, especially doing something like a plumbing project. Make sure I can catch any water. Unscrew the hose or a pipe from the water shut off and make sure that that the water is actually shut off. Pop off your bolts and unscrew the toilet. Now I'm just gonna move the toilet over and cover it with my garbage bag, just so it's a little bit cleaner. This makes it really easy if you have to move the toilet out to the truck or if you throw it in the garbage you don't want to get crap all over the carpet. Now I'm going to remove my wax gasket. I'm looking for a place to put it but I already used my garbage bag for the toilet. Oh dang it. I didn't actually get that gasket off in one piece. Now I'm going to have to scrape it off with my screwdriver. Yay! And you know sometimes when you're working you get a little hungry and um, so you know just have a little snack. In this case the peanut butter was delicious. It certainly did the trick. Now I'm gonna put my new wax gasket on because the gasket that I was trying to use was not working for me. As you can see in this installation the toilet is got a quite a bit of wobble because I had way too much foam underneath this toilet and I could not get it to stop wobbling and the more I tighten the bolts the more it broke my flange. But once you do have the toilet sitting well you do want to refasten your bolts, cut with a hacksaw just the top of the bolt off enough that you can get the cap on, put the cap back on and then hook up the water again. You want to hand tighten any of your fittings before you use a wrench just in case the threads aren't sitting right. It's always easier to hand tighten it and then use a wrench afterwards. Try not to kink it as well. Get the water shut back on. Give it a couple flushes. Make sure it's not leaking from anywhere. And you're good to go. So, let's just explain a little bit of why you shouldn't drink when you're doing a project. I mean, obviously, this isn't anything to do with safety, but by the time you finish, your glass of water is probably going to be warm. Now, just to explain a little bit of what actually happened in this video, there's a, a bunch of different things that actually wound up happening. So I wound up breaking my ABS flange. Um, it was already cracked, and the pressure of the foam, that big wad of foam, was just um, a lot of pressure on it 
and it kept pushing it back up and um, so it wound up cracking. Then I changed it with a brass insert that is designed to fix the um, to fix the actual um, broken flange and I wound up cracking that one too. So then I wound up replacing this again and as you could probably see we went with um, not this one we wound up going back with a wax because um, because I have a raised flange and it's raised above the tile this amount of foam even when it was fully compressed I still felt I still found that the, the whole toilet was just kind of like moving around and um, I don't like a bounce in my toilet that's the whole reason I I did this in the first place um, and so as many times as I did try to continue to use this and um, you know put the toilet on I think uh, six times in total um, not what I expected and it does come with all the bolts and everything that you need to install it but I would probably treat this as a good a good thing to use if you had like your tile coming up past your flange and you needed an extended flange because then this you don't have it's not as sensitive so if you um, if you tighten it down and it didn't quite go all the way then um, it would still give you a nice seal or if you were doing construction um, and you have to keep putting the flange on and off on and off on and off then for a repositional uh, flange this would probably be great. I'll see you guys next time on DIY Like a Pro. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And comment. No one ever comments. You should comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, do it. There's a toolbox on the line.